All right, this is gonna be a fast tutorial. If you have a website that's going on to Webflow, and I'm gonna show you a website that we're converting right now, we have an old website here, which is ICCM, a great nonprofit here in Minneapolis. We're helping them out, and what we've done is we've built a new site here in Webflow, and we're really excited about how it's gonna turn out here. Again, this is Feedback Ranch if you need help with a website, or if you need help with paid ads or SEO with your Webflow. If you're a, a designer, man, contact us. We know. The, the guts of Webflow, we can help you with design, but really we can help you with marketing too. So real quick, I wanna show you the most important thing for search engine optimization is you publish a site that's been converted from one system over to another, and it's gonna be with redirects. So we're gonna talk about uh, redirects with um, <clears throat> Webflow. So one of the things that you should do is you should come in and you should type, um, it's kind of a goofy deal, you're gonna type site colon and then put the URL of the website that you currently have. And what this will do is kind of show you what the main purposes here. These pages have a meta title and a meta description and you'll be able to see how things have been um, crawled by Google. Again, if you ever need help getting your website crawled, you're gonna go to the search console, which is called Google Search Console. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna submit that website into the search console. You go like this, you go add property, you add it in there, it gets crawled. So obviously this site's kinda old, but here's what we wanna do is we wanna make sure in particular, probably in the order of importance here, um, because this tends to show what's the most relevant page. We're just gonna start probably up from the top. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure, we're, I'm gonna hold command and open in another window and you're gonna see forward slash blog is a URL. And all I wanna do is make sure that our current Webflow site has a representation of that, right? So um, as long as this has a blog site and the 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 URL, and now I we didn't build a blog into this, we're actually gonna leave this um, because we're not doing a blog, ironically. Um, but every other thing, so it's the Grand 3000, what we're gonna do here is we wanna make sure that we have the, <laughs> this is funny, um, these are all there, and they have a spaghetti web of different things. So what we really wanna do is make sure we have any, so forward slash directions and parking .html. What we wanna do is make sure that directions and parking is going to be forwarded to the other um, directions and parking. So directions and schedule is actually where it's gonna go now. So here's what we gotta do. We want forward slash directions slash schedule to point to there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into Webflow in the dashboard, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, uh, I think it was hosting, and here's the redirect. So it's kinda weird. All we're gonna be doing is typing in what's the forward slash after the dot com, so dot com forward slash whatever dot org or whatever it is. So the old path, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put forward slash directions dash and parking dot HTML and boom, and then what we're gonna do is go to the new one and all you're doing is grabbing the, the forward slash, okay? And take that forward slash and put it in there, hit add redirect path. Um, the main thing we want to do is just make sure that any really important sites that have been crawled. Now, th this site actually has some situations anyways. Like we have all these subdomains. We got a, <laughs> we had a lot going on. But generally speaking, what you all you're trying to do is remember that it has been crawled by Google. If you don't do this redirect, you will hit this page and all of a sudden it won't work. It'll say for it, it'll go to your redirect page. You really don't want that to happen. So um, another good tip that you'll want to do is wh whenever you're in Webflow, right, make sure that before you publish or, or do anything, you want to make sure you go into the designer and fill out the meta titles and meta descriptions. It's also good to do that on all your items. So you go to a page, you're going to hit gear. We're going to make sure that we have a meta title and a meta description. That's what we're about to do on this site. And then we'll also want to put the open graph. Uh, I usually mark the open graph the same as. Um, open graph, just so you see this, th these are all back end things for, for uh, Webflow, right? If you search Facebook debugger, what you'll see is this little tool and you can see how the OG image, OG title, and kind of the social media, which is which is what these uh, open graph, OG is open graph titles, right? So if I go to Feedback Ranch, I go to my site, and if I grab this, you'll see that on the Facebook debugger tool, again, developers.facebook.com forward slash tools forward slash debugger. I can paste this in here and I can actually debug it and it'll scrape it once. So here's the image that I put in there, the title that I put in there. Um, and then you could have it scrape again. It's already been scraped once, um, but this is a good way to test to make sure things are going well. Um, and you'll wanna just take a look at that. So again, the Facebook debugger tool is a good tool to look at when you're 
finalizing these, but make sure that you get good um, meta titles, meta descriptions in there. Make sure that any keyword or, or organizational word that you're gonna put in there is early in that title, but ensure that you get that filled out. The other thing that you'll wanna do, I'm just gonna discard that because we're about to fill all this in. When you get into the CMS stuff, right? Um, let's just say we went to events again. Well, what you'll wanna do is I will usually put a meta title and meta description um, <clears throat> spot in the database so that you can actually control that and, and make sure that that's filled in. Again, I'll also do it with the same image so that the image is controlled too, right? Um, we always want to make sure that we're controlling that because Google Google cares. So again, you're going to be coming into Webflow, going into the project settings, going to hosting. And what you're really trying to do is just make sure that anything that is getting traffic, particularly if it's been crawled, um, it, Usually what I'll do, here's the last tip, guys. Um, what I will do is I'll go into Google Analytics, and let's just be frank, you, you certainly don't wanna have errors where stuff that's been crawled or linked to on other pages um, starts to show your redirects, right? But let's just be frank, what you really wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that your most important content gets um, crawled properly. So step one is we wanna avoid problems, we wanna avoid redirects because it looks sloppy, Google doesn't like it, nobody likes it, it's a problem for users, so it's a problem for Google. But if you come into your analytics here and you go down to behavior, you go to site content, so behavior, site content, and then all pages, what you can do is you can kinda take a look at what is actually creating momentum for your site, right? The The idea is you wanna make sure that anything is, that's getting traffic and you're gonna go up here and instead of page, you go to page title. And let's make darn sure that everything you have um, is getting some strong um, traffic. We wanna make sure that we have redirects for that. So, you know, should you have multiple domains? Uh, here's my homepage, right? We just wanna make sure that we're paying close attention to that and, uh, and get that done. So. You can do that in the Search Console tool. Um, last tip, Search Console, once you've had this set up, we'll just do Feedback Wrench so it's easy. Um, I'm not like swimming in lot. But if you come into the Search Console and if you've submitted things, you go to Search Results, and what you'll be able to do is you come into Pages and maybe sort it by the last, you know, last 28 days. You can see what's really getting traffic here, right? So what you can do is you can come down, and this is a list of all the pages. So what I did is I sorted, I, I went to Search Results, I went to queries and instead of queries, I went to pages. And what this is doing is it's showing me, hey, um, this had 514 clicks in the last month. This had 217 clicks. This had 174 clicks. And then these are the impressions. So I would wanna make darn sure that any web page that I have um, traffic from Google organically coming, I wanna make sure those are prioritized first if you have a big site. And then the last tip that I would have is make sure that you're pruning your site, right? Um, another uh, little thing that people don't know is, you know, if you have content on there that's not being used and never gets hits, just delete it, get rid of it, because um, nobody's paying attention to it. Uh, there, there's another couple of little things that you wanna pay attention to. Um, when it comes to your SEO and and how things are going for your, your site conversion, one of the most important things you'll do is you'll come in and actually put a site map and submit the site map in Google. So once you have your Google Search Console, you've added the site, you gotta, kind of go through some rigmarole, what you'll want to do, and on Webflow, they're always sitemap.xml is what you'll type in. And in particular, when you get a new site, you'll want to make sure that you submit that so it gets crawled and you have things going for you because it's just, it's really important. You'll want to make sure that you have the sitemaps um, crawled. It's super important. So um, hopefully that helps you as you convert a website. There's a lot of other steps for it. Um, there's lots of little tips when you're in here to make sure that each page has meta titles, meta descriptions. Oh, last thing. If you have pages, like down here we have some like um, services template. We have some different testimonials that we don't necessarily want showing up in Google results. What you'll want to do is come down here and hit exclude these pages from site results. And what that'll do is it'll kind of help you make sure that they don't get crawled, it puts a blocker on there. And then the other thing that you can do is for things that are really important, you can create an RSS feed and then you can take that RSS feed and submit it to different uh, publishers. There's some things that you can do there, but good luck, God bless. Um, if you need help, you know, if you're a Webflow designer, uh, we'd love to help you set up Google ads, remarketing ads, and help your clients build more momentum online and make your work shine. You make beautiful stuff, we can help you uh, drive traffic to it. Good luck, God bless.